Hey guys, and welcome to Murder Bird Monday. I'm your host, Jessica, the Cassowary Queen. Our sponsor today is Amanda Rolinski from Riverview, Florida. She purchased this shirt off our Cassowary wish list, and you can too. Check out those links in the description. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got some great stuff for you guys today. Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about some Cassowary basics. Where do cassowaries come from? There are three different types of cassowaries and they all live natively in Australia and Papua New Guinea and some of the surrounding islands in the Pacific Ocean. The first one, the southern cassowary or double wattle cassowary like ginger here, can be found natively living in the areas marked on the map in red. The areas marked include some of Australia's northern coastline and the southern coast of Papua New Guinea. The second, the northern cassowary or single wattle like Artemis, are found natively in the areas on the map shown in blue. These areas are restricted to the northern coast of Papua New Guinea, which I will mention is how the northern and southern cassowaries were named by the area of Papua New Guinea they inhabit. The third cassowary, the dwarf or Bennett's, is not one we have here at the Cassowary Conservancy. Their territory is defined on the map in green, and you can see they occupy the inner mountainous regions of the island as well as some adjacent islands. So now that we know where they live, what do they eat? Cassowaries are frugivores, which means they primarily eat fruit, though they do enjoy the occasional snack of lizard or a small rodent for protein. Since we do not have access to the native fruits that the cassowaries would feed on in the wilds of Australia or Papua New Guinea, we provide our captive birds with a variety of cut fruits and a few veggies like eggplant, zucchini, squash, and tomatoes, as well as supplements for protein and vitamins to make sure we are providing them with adequate and well-balanced nutrition. The protein supplement we use usually is a fish food. Now, as you can see from this label from a catfish or floating fish food, this food has a 32% protein and not much else, which is what makes it a great source of protein supplement for the cassowaries. They also get this small pellet that contains protein, vitamins, and minerals. How big do cassowaries get? Cassowaries are pretty tall when they stand up straight. The normal range for a southern cassowary is 5 feet tall, the males being on the smaller side, to over 6 feet tall for some of the females. Weight-wise, as adults, they can range from 90 pounds up to 150 pounds, again, the females being the larger ones. Now, the northern cassowary is a bit larger bodied than the southern cassowary, and of course, the dwarf or Bennett's cassowary is the smallest of all three species. So why are cassowaries dangerous? Cassowaries are known as the most dangerous bird in the world, but what gave them that description and what makes them so dangerous? Well, first of all, cassowaries are extremely territorial. This dominant territorial attitude could then be complicated by something such as a male on a nest of eggs or raising chicks, as shown by this clip of me trying to steal an egg from Pugsley. Throughout our Murder Bird Monday series, you will see many clips from inside the castle enclosures, and we continuously look at whether or not the birds exhibit unwarranted aggression. You may notice that the majority of the time I am inside enclosure doing close-ups with the birds, that is usually done with Myron and Godiva. This is because they are definitely the most relaxed of the group, as was discussed on episode one, Meet the Cassowaries, which is good because it makes them easily approachable by me and I'm able to get you guys some really good close-up cassowary footage. Aren't you afraid of getting pecked? No. Let's take a look at cassowary defenses. Definitely the most dangerous part of the cassowary is their feet. Connected to extremely strong muscular thighs, the feet end in two seriously sharp toenails and one knife-like talon. And a kick from this bird could definitely send a grown man flying. 
Surprisingly, there are not that many documented injuries and deaths from cassowary encounters. People visiting or living in Australia seem to encounter them frequently while they are out foraging for foods. And from documented accounts, if you leave them alone and do not feed them, it is likely that they will move on with their continued foraging. But there's one more part of the cassowary, though not a defense or a weapon, anymore. Did you know that cassowaries each have two small claws on their wings? That's right. As can be seen here on a chick and a juvenile bird, each cassowary wing is equipped with one claw, left over from the age of the dinosaurs, tucked away and hidden like an evolutionary secret. This claw is one external remnant of their primordial past. The claw is useless for protection or defense and is just a remnant of their prehistoric ancestors. And it's time for our viewer submitted Q&A. This week's question comes from Chris and he asks, can you show us what cassowary poop looks like? Well, I sure didn't expect this question, but I am so glad you asked. Cassowary poop is some of the most important poop in the world. Cassowaries are considered a keystone species, which means they affect the entire ecosystem and are almost solely responsible for seed dispersal and even germination of an estimated 70 to 100 species of plants on Papua New Guinea. This is in part due to the cassowary's mild digestive system, causing a lot of things they eat, like fruits and seeds, to come out whole. When they eat a seed and poop it out later, it germinates and grows a new plant in the area the cassowary pooped. This could be a short distance or a great distance from where the cassowary ate the original fruit, making the cassowary one of the world's best gardeners and definitely making their poop world class. If you have a question that you think would be good for our Q&A or even make a great discussion topic, submit those to us by email at mbm at cassowaryconservancy.org. Let's move right on to our cassowary quiz. All right, the way this works is I'm going to ask a question, but I won't give you the answer until the next episode. If you'd like to enter to win some cool cassowary prizes, send your answer and your address to us at mbm at cassowaryconservancy.org. The first 10 emails with the correct answer will be mailed a cool cassowary prize and get a shout out on our next episode of Murder Bird Monday. Kids, please make sure you have your parents' permission to send us your address before you email us. Alrighty, here we go. Last week's question was, what family of birds do cassowaries belong to? And the answer we were looking for, Paleognathae. Paleognathae is the taxonomic family that includes the ratites, emus, ostrich, rhea, kiwi, and of course, the cassowary. Ratite is a word that refers to a group of flightless birds with a flat breastbone. Now, some of you sent in the answer ratite, and we're going to go ahead and accept that and send you guys a gift. So our winners for last week were William from Orlando, Florida, Nicholas from Monmouth Beach, New Jersey, Frank from West Palm Beach, Florida, and Chris from Port St. Lucie, Florida. Also getting sent prizes are Judah and Chris for submitting viewer questions. And this week's cassowary quiz question is, do cassowaries have feathers or or fur. Watch next Monday when I'll announce our winners and give you the answer. Thanks for watching Murder Bird Monday. Again, today's sponsor was Amanda Rolinski. Don't forget to check out that Amazon wish list. And if you guys could please consider a donation to support us, one way you can do that is by supporting us through Patreon. There's a link in the description. Our Patreon supporters not only get access to special areas on our Discord server, they also get early access to Murder Bird Monday episodes and cool cassowary gear sent out every three months. And don't forget to join us on our Discord where you'll have a chance to talk live with me, the cassowary queen. Our live chat times will be posted in the server. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time when we continue all the cassowary chat from the mundane to the insane here on Murder Bird Monday.